Hello everyone. Today with me I have uh, Frederick Hoyg Nielsen, one of Hearthstone's most talented players. Hoyg is uh, coming from Denmark. He is uh, 23 years old, almost 24, right? Yeah, I know that I don't look that old, but I'm actually 23 years old. Yeah, you look much younger. Uh, and he is uh, currently playing for Navi. Hello Hoy, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing good. What about you, man? I'm good, thank you. Uh, I'm doing good. I'm going to Copenhagen tomorrow to play summer prelims. So I've been a little busy this weekend to practice for the lead event, but I'm doing fine. Yeah, uh, you already told my name is Fritjof Koenelsen and I'm from Denmark. Um, I started playing Hearthstone professionally last year when I got my first breakthrough when I won by game 2. But I also played on some smaller teams. We actually have been working together before. I joined Navi in a small team called Mythic with only Danish players. But uh, yeah, but my biggest breakthrough when I won via game two, and when I won via game two, I was like, if I can win this event, I can probably also win more events. So I started tryharding and it worked out. And then I, yeah, got to Navi. I'm also a little known for having my little Pucci pitchy on my shoulder when I play online tournaments and so on. It's like, yeah. She got the Navi colors, the yellow black. So she was meant for Navi. Uh, my battle tag is Hoy, and it's my middle name, Fredra Coy Nielsen. So it doesn't really have any special meanings or significance, but in the in, but I didn't like expect that I ever would go pro in Hearthstone. If like if I knew I would go pro, I would probably have like a cooler battle tag like Kappa One Two Three or Baby Rates or something funny that the chat would react to. Um, I've always liked strategic games and card games. So when Hearthstone came out, I just fell in love with the game immediately. It's like in the beginning, I only played Arena and I played a lot of it. There was so many different combos and everything was new back then. I would like try to everything, try to make a cool decks. And I watched a lot of streams. Uh, I still find Hearthstone funny today, just in a different way, because now it's all about breaking the meta, do well on ladder and do well in tournaments. But back then everything was new. It was so funny because also so many strategy was not figured out and so on. Um, whenever, when, whenever there's like a new season, I mostly play online cups to grind HWC points. Uh, which you can use for qualify for prelims, like summer prelims, winter prelims. And you can also use them for last call. So instead of like grinding the ladder, I, I play online cups in the early. And when, and in the middle of the season, uh, I start to grind the ladder to legend, mostly with fun decks, because maybe I should catch Pitchy if it's like peeping too much. Oh, be quiet. Uh, in the middle of the season, it's like in the middle of a month, I start climbing. And with, mostly with fun decks since the climb to Lydian is takes a long time. So if you don't have fun while climbing, it's the long grind. When I ever hit Lydian, I start to play more focused and seriously. Then I like play the good decks. Okay, maybe I have to catch it if she's getting too annoying for the interview. But yeah, it's like in the beginning, I play online cups. In the middle of the season, I grind to Lydian. And in the middle end, I play the good decks and try to hit high Lydian. Uh, I mostly play control decks. My signature deck is Reno Luck, but I also like all control decks, like Control Warrior. Yeah, in general, just like control decks. Um, but when I started playing Hearthstone professionally, I only played aggro decks, so I actually transitioned from being an aggro player to more control player. And the reason for that is that I think control decks require more skill, and aggro decks really rely on top decks. And like, so, so I prefer to play control decks. Uh, about the meta, I think the meta is okay right now. It has been worse. There's a lot of Dragon Warriors, York Druid, and Face Shamans on ladder, but you can beat those decks even with control. 
However, I think, it's, I think it's nice that we get the new expansion right now, so we can see some different decks. But yeah, I think the meta is fine, but I like some different decks as well. Okay. All right. We had some uh, problems with uh, my audio, so you will just see caps from uh, the previous uh, part of the video. We are good to go now. So, Hoy, you are in charge of making some changes in Hearthstone. Yes. What would you change? Oh, that's a really good question. I have to think. I would probably start to change some few cards like Tosca Totemic and Yoxa Run because they're really RNG heavy and it's not healthy for competitive gaming. But if, let me think. If also, if, if I work for Blizzard, I would make like those holograph. Did you see uh, the international in, in Dota when they like picking the heroes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you see like the eggs and all the heroes. If they could like at BlizzCon, like the biggest Hearthstone tournament. So when you play a card, you'd like summon big holograms and so on. That would be really awesome to watch. Pretty sh sh I think I would like spend a lot of money to make that work just for a big tournament. That would be awesome to watch. Okay. But yeah. Like card, I would change would probably be Tosca, so Tosca Totemic and Yoxi Run because they're so energy heavy. I see. I mostly agree with this. And so tournament wise, you even though you are always one of the favorites to win a tour, most of the times luck is not on your side exactly. So we don't get to see you in as many finals as we'd we'd like to. Do you also feel that way about your luck, for example? Well, yeah, I would wish I would get to more finals, but Hearthstone is not like poker in some way. Let's say you go all in with a pocket of aces in poker, and some guy call you with two fives. And on the river, there will be a five, so you lose it with the aces. Does that mean that it was wrong to go all in with the aces? No, it's just unlucky. But if the guy who went all in with the aces keep making good plays, he would win way more often. And the same thing goes for Hearthstone. And that's why Ladder is a really good way to show good Hearthstone players because you can play a million games on Legend Ladder. So you can get like, you can get your win rate if you play 1 million games or 1,000 games, you will get your final win rate. While in tournaments, you don't have the same amount of games. You only have like, sometimes you only have one life or two lives. And you, if you roll low on Tosca Totemic or the other, guy gets a good break flip or a good top decks, he wins. It's like, you can play perfectly Hearthstone and still lose. But if you play consistently and good, you will win tournaments in the long run. So right now, just focus and do well. And like, that's the best thing I can do. I, I finish normally good on ladder and get a lot of points. So I will hopefully win a tournament this year. Yeah, we hope that too. Tournament. Uh, so, speaking of that, what are your goals for Hearthstone this year and probably the next, uh, the, the first month of the next year? Yeah, uh, I had some goals when I went into 2016. The first goal was to go to all the prelims, to summer prelim, winter prelim, spring prelims, like get enough points and then get enough points for the last call tournament, which is the person, the top eight person who gets most points throughout the year on Europe. And right now I'm in third position to get in that spot. All right. My second goal was to win a major and it's still my goal. So I was really close at DreamHack Sweden, as a DreamHack Summer Sweden, where I finished in third, fourth place out of 200. So I was like really annoyed that I lost so close to a final, but I can still win BlizzCon. That <laughs> I know it's going to be hard, but I wish I could do that. And my third goal when I went into this year is like to be a top five on Ghost Gamers throughout the entire year, like having a consistent good win rate when I play tournaments and have also done that. So I just need to win a major and I'm happy for this year. I really hope that will be BlizzCon. Yeah, I also hope it will be BlizzCon, that would be awesome. Back to back for Navi, that could be great. Yeah, that would be awesome. And the first for a team to get a back to back World Championship. <laughs> yeah. So, do you have any advice or thoughts you'd like to share with your fans or other aspiring uh, competitive Hearthstone players that want mm -hmm. to be like you? 
like how do you get into the competitive scene maybe? Um, it's on. really difficult to get into the competitive scene in Hearthstone, but the best way to do it is to play a lot of ladder and a lot of online cups because the best way to get into the competitive, competitive scene is like winning one of the prelims, the summer prelim, the winter prelim, or the spring prelim. So, so like try to get all the points you can get and do well. And if you like finish consistently high on ladder, some people will notice you at some point and they will like, wow, this guy got to be good since he can keep Phoenix high ladder and then pro players will add you and like asking, asking for advice and so on and just just try to do well and and at some point you like can get through. Yep, definitely. That's a good point. Uh, I think practice makes perfect after all. Uh, okay, so I think we can wrap it up. That's uh, it for the thing. Any final shout outs? Uh, yeah, I want to give a shout out to Navi and to my teammates Sixo, Kaka and Surrender and to my manager Kimi. And then I will also give a shout out to all the fans I have out there and to my family and so on. And to Pidgey, right Pidgey? <laughs> but yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you. Uh, it was an honor. So you can follow him, follow Hoi. You can see the... His uh, at Navi Hoi. Right here. Yep, I put it right here. You can see it. Okay. So that's it for now. Thank you, Hoi, for having this interview with me. No I think you. Hope to see you win that BlizzCon after all. <laughs> and then we've had uh, well. interviews, uh, in a winner's interview. Would be nice. So thank you. That's all. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Bye.